equal to x to the fifth plus 6x plus 17 over x squared minus 9 is continuous. So let's uh, look at this function and determine on what intervals this guy uh, is going to be continuous. Uh, well, if we're trying to figure out intervals on which it is continuous, then it would probably be fairly helpful for me to figure out where is it not continuous. And places where this thing is not going to be continuous are places where there's some sort of a hole in the graph, a jump in the graph, a discontinuity of some sort. So let's factor this thing and look for places like that. So if I factor this function f of x, well, the top, x to the fifth plus 6x plus 17, that doesn't factor nicely. So we're just going to write x to the fifth plus 6x plus 17. And on the bottom, we can factor this. It's the difference of squares. So we get an x minus 3 times an x plus 3. <clears throat> now, uh, we have this function. Uh, it's factored down. And so right off the bat, I see some places that could be problems. Because if x is 3, I get division by 0. And if x is negative 3, I get division by 0. And the question is, is that a hole in the graph? Is it an asymptote? What's going on? Is there a problem at those points? Well, if it's a hole in the graph, it's a discontinuity. If it's an asymptote, it's a discontinuity. So both of these places where plugging in a certain x value would give me division by 0, those are discontinuities in my graph. So at x equals 3 and minus 3, I have discontinuities. Everywhere else, I can just plug in the value and everything is fine. So all we have to look at is we have two discontinuities on this graph at 3 and minus 3. So now all we have to do is say, well, everything else is continuous. So that means that this thing is continuous on the interval from minus infinity all the way to minus 3 together with... Uh, the interval from minus 3 to 3 together with, or union if you like, 3 to infinity. So these are the intervals on which this function is continuous.